guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. We are here today talking about the PC Game Show 2020. I'm Ray, and we're going to get straight into this. So, I watched it today. It started at, what, uh, 2 o'clock, and it went to... I don't know. No, no, it started at 1, and it went to 2, 3, 30, I don't know. This was a long-ass show, and... I'm going to go through all the games, but before that, I'm going to more or less give my succinct opinion of the conference ahead of time, because this video is probably going to end up being really long and not for the right reasons. Um, I put my opinion of the PS5 event at the end because I enjoyed talking about all the games there. That was not the case here at the PC Game Show. I typically don't watch the PC game show event because I'm not a PC gamer but with everybody being stuck inside and everything just being all by myself this uh, year for everybody out there everybody's wanting to watch all these game events right well I watched the PC game show for the first time and I get it I get it this is supposed to be a show where a lot of indie titles and smaller games that don't necessarily get exposure elsewhere in the big console uh, shows are able to show off but this was handled very poorly I think because it was too damn long uh, there's a lot of cringe my god the cringe the host what was his name Sean something with the smoking jacket and the stupid robot and the girl who kept making godfather references or references to her being schizophrenic or something i don't know uh it was just a lot of cringe and i feel like they could have really cut down on the length of this show if they had cut out all of these cringy skits not to mention a whole lot of developer talk developers deserve the opportunity to talk about their games but i feel like that's something that you should put after all the reveals or in their own separate videos because this it broke it really slowed down the pacing of this whole event and just made it way longer than it needed to be i was begging for this conference to end by the time it did just because it was so long so i really thought poorly of the pc game show and it was not that's not great for this being my first time to watch the PC game show. So, all that said... Oh, and okay, but no, here's my biggest thing. Here's my biggest gripe. Regularly, I hear from PC gamers all the time, this is a generalization, not a specific indictment of anyone in particular who is a PC primary gamer. I hear from a lot of PC gamers all the time how great the PC is, how it pushes things, how everything looks better on the PC, how all the best stuff is on the PC. Well, nothing in this entire conference looked like something that would push PC games hardware. It looked like something that would push even a console's hardware. That was my biggest gripe about this entire show. There was no wow factor for me in from any one game. In fact, I don't even remember the names of most of the of most of any of the games that were in the show. I'm going to go through the list in a moment, but this there was no wow factor whatsoever. There is no one game I can point at and say that makes me excited to play a game on a PC. So, take that in mind. I apologize if you don't agree with my opinion, but there's to me, there just was no wow factor at this conference. So let's get into this. Uh, Valheim, a Nordic-inspired 3D action game. It looked very not great. Ooblets, no idea. Early access. Uh, Torchlight 3, I get it looked kind of like League of Legends or something. I understand that some people are really into this, but I have honestly never heard of this series. Elite Dangerous. This is probably the most impressive thing I saw, but I still don't care. Persona 4 Golden. I have Persona 4 Golden on the Vita. Uh, it's on PC now. That's great. Uh, this was probably the title I care most about, but it's a game I already have. Twice, because I have it on the PS2. Uh, In Sound Mind. Basically... I want to make a horror game. Uh, Airborne Kingdom. No idea what you're going to be doing in this game. Dorfheim. No idea. Humankind. No idea. Icarus. 
Uh, a new game created by Daisy creator Dane Hall is new survival game that takes place in space and new planets. I actually thought it was hilarious how the uh, presenter Sean actually flat out asked him, uh, should people feel confident in this game at all because of the way it's perceived that you abandon Daisy? So wow, that was very... <laughs> Very confrontational. Let's keep up the list. Evil Genius 2. Didn't really care. Godfall. We already saw plenty of Godfall cringe at the PS5 reveal event. So this was just a little bit more. Uh, Proteus. I mean, that looked interesting. If you were a into uh, uh, Duke Nukem or Wolfenstein uh, back in the day. Or Doom back in the day. And now, I'm not saying that any of these games are bad, by the way. Uh, I know a lot of them are passion projects from smaller developers. My point is, none of them still have that wow factor yet. None of them have that thing that just say, hey, this is something that's going to push the limits. Uh, Fey Tactics, Cardo, Project Wingman, Blanco's, Blanco's Block Party, that was horrible looking. And we ended up seeing it again in the future game show. That was just... Ugh. Everspace 2. No idea. Enculinati. No idea. Uh, Remnant from Ashes. Okay. This is a DLC. This is probably something I cared about more than anything. Even though I never played Remnant from Ash. Uh, it's... I only care about it because I might like it. Because it's... Even though it's a shooter, it's part of the Soulsborne genre. Uh, Mafia Definitive Edition, we knew about this beforehand. The announcements had already been made. Uh, Unexplored 2, The Wayfarer's Legacy, don't know, don't care. Among Trees, it looks like Firewatch. Potionomics, this looked horrendously boring. Mortal Shell, okay, this is the one thing. This is the one thing I might be interested in because it looks like a Soulsborne game. But it doesn't look so amazing that I got the wow factor. It doesn't look so amazing that I would want to play it on PC. If It looks like something I would wait to see if it ever came to consoles. Uh, but it's the one thing I actually took notice of. Uh, Shadow Man Remaster. This was already announced. Uh, terrible game anyway. Uh, Blightbound, never heard, have, never heard of it. I watched the show earlier and I've never heard of this. Shadows of Doubt. Uh, it looks stylistically interesting, but didn't really care. Forgotten City. Don't remember. Paradise Killer. Looked weird. Cartel Tycoon. That basically looks like Tropico, but drugs. Uh, Haven. My wife, I think, wants this. That's about all I know about it. Trash Sailors. If I wanted to play Garbage Pail Kids, I'd get to buy, go out and buy some cards or stickers or whatever the hell that is. Chris Tales. I hate this, actually, because they kept showing it off in every single conference today, both this and the Future Games Show. And also, this game has been long announced. Uh, so it's just something that this game is... We've seen announcements for this long before now. Alaloth. Uh, nope, don't remember it. Weird West. Uh, top Down... Action top down RPG. I might have been interested in this if it wasn't top down, but oh well. Uh, Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Basically, it looks like a Harvest Moon clone. New World. I think this is an Amazon made MMO. Uh, in my experience, not a lot of Western MMOs are good. Twin Mirror. We know nothing about this. Metal Hellsinger. A rhythm-based FPS. Basically, make the shotgun shotgun sound sound good. That was basically what I saw. Uh, the Dungeon of Nub... Uh, I don't even remember this. Red Sails. I think this looked like something my wife might enjoy. The Last Campfire. Definitely something my wife would enjoy. Uh, Escape from Tarkov. An expansion... I don't play these Battle Royale find somebody and kill them games, but I mean, it looked good, I guess. The Outlast Trials. I like Resident Evil. I like survival horror. 
You will not get me to play Outlast. I'm not going near that. Surgeon Simulator. You can now gruesomely murder people and commit malpractice with friends. Is that... Was that it? Is, was that everything? Okay, I guess that was everything. Um, okay. I guess that was everything. I... The, oh my god oh my god this this video ended up being so much shorter than I thought because ended up being not nearly as many games as I thought but the conference dragged out so long and like I said there was just nothing with the wow factor so too much development talk too much cringe and no games with the wow factor I don't want to put down indie games. I don't want to put down the PC game show for giving these smaller development houses and these smaller games a place to shine. But they really went about it, I feel like, in just not a great presentation. So, didn't enjoy this presentation. There was nothing there that I thought was personally worth my time. So, that's my personal opinion. Make of it what you will. Uh, I appreciate you tuning in, and if you enjoy any of these games, by golly, go buy these games. Go enjoy them. That's your enjoyment to be had. I have, my opinion has no bearing on that. I just think as a conference, this was not successful. And that's my opinion. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to respond as best I can. So, thanks. Uh, I'll catch you next time on Rated RPG. Later. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications so you can get all the latest updates from Rated RPG.